Okay, so um, we're going into our poster session. Eric Agramson is the moderator for, and he will give us some instructions for the poster session. But before we do that, I thought it would be useful, for efficiency's sake, actually, to take a few minutes, five minutes, to see the videos that are promoting each of these posters. This will give you a better idea of what you want to go and take a look at. And I would encourage you to look at them all, but this will allow everybody who is online to see all the videos at least a little tiny bit. And it will also allow the people talking about the videos not to start from zero because everybody has already seen. Everybody talking, people talking about the posters because everybody's already seen their promotional video. So let me just do all of those right now very quickly. So here are the five videos. Um, and I will play them in the order in which I'm setting up the breakout rooms. One moment. Here we go. Here's a quick video from University of Bridgeport. Hi, my name is Hui Hung. Can you hear that? My poster is about the University of Bridgeport's experience during the 2023 annual solar eclipse as part of the Nationwide Eclipse Ballooning Project. From a team comprised of students with no ballooning experience prior to this project, we achieved many of the preliminary goals we had set for the annual solar eclipse. Our team achieved a float time of five hours at 70,000 feet and were able to transmit video and live stream it to YouTube with 16 miles of vertical separation. The team has high hopes for the total solar eclipse and plans to make improvements to all of our payloads as we look forward to April 2024. Hmm. Um, Eric, were you able to hear that audio? It was kind of soft for me. It was soft for me as well, too, but uh, I was able to hear it. Okay, let me show the next one. This is the radio sound whereabout relay from Gordon Cooper. Hello, my name is Darren Kidd. I'm part of Gordon Cooper Technology Center's Nationwide Eclipse Ballooning Project team. At Gordon Cooper, we've been working on a project called Radio Sound Whereabouts Relay, or RAR. As part of the atmospheric science side of the NEBP, we like to keep track of radio sounds using soundhub.org. Unfortunately, where we're launching radio sounds during the total eclipse, there are no stations available to upload our coordinates. RAR is a portable radio sound station consisting of a 400 to 470 megahertz dual band antenna attached to a Realtek software defined radio attached to a Raspberry Pi in a compact box. Also attached to that Raspberry Pi is a screen, battery pack, keyboard, and mouse for ease of use. The Raspberry Pi has an open source software on it called AutoRx that decodes and uploads information picked up by the software to find radio onto SoundHub. We hope that RAR will be useful in the upcoming solar eclipse and we are excited to participate in the Nationwide Eclipse Ballooning Project. Okay, uh, here's the uh, next video. This is from South Dakota, selecting a launch site. James, did you see the comment about maybe um, making your screen full? My name is Dr. Play Pe that? Peggy Norris. I am a retired nuclear physicist and a mentor for the South Dakota Wyoming engineering track team. My poster is called Picking a Launch Site. This is a critical um, step to the success of a launch during a, um, uh, an eclipse and the um, uh, ability to get the balloon at the right place at the right time to video uh, live stream the eclipse. So what I'm going to be talking about is lessons learned from the 2017 and 2023 eclipses in um, scouting out and finding launch sites. Thank you. Okay, one moment. Hello. Hello. The next poster is from Casper College. Our poster is about outreach and funding in the Nationwide Eclipse Ballooning Project. I'm Lily Trujillo. I'm Lucas Cooper. And we're representing the Casper College Engineering Department, as well as Kelly Walsh High School and Taconic County High School. Our main goal is to secure engagement in the field of STEM so that future CASPER students will be interested and willing to participate in projects like this. 
We have talked to multiple media outlets. We posted our own planetarium show. We've talked to the Wyoming Space Grant Consortium for funding. And we've also developed fruitful relationships with fellow Wyoming teams. Some upcoming projects include another planetarium show regarding total eclipse and will include a 360 camera view of that eclipse. Another one is presenting the to the University of Wyoming Board of Trustees. And another one is more planned balloon launches with the Central Wyoming College team, including retrieval. Thank you. Okay, one more. This is from Delgado Community College. Hi, I'm Joanna Rivers from Delgado Community College. These are two of my students, Sam Overton and Cullen McKinley. They're here to present the outreach work that they've done with the children of Anna's Place last fall, averaging about three hours per week to teach eclipse safety and ballooning science. Uh, we had the kids at Anna's Place do uh, arts and crafts, uh, centered around a ballooning project and space themes that we then got laminated and we displayed in San Antonio, uh, they went a long way with our outreach on site in San Antonio. Uh, we were able to give away over 900 uh, Eclipse classes and I had a really good time doing it. We had the children at Anna's Place help us run a mock launch of the balloon launches. Um, our team taught the older kids how to initialize the radio sounds using ground stations. And for the younger kids, we explained how to launch the weather balloons and why we were launching them. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Joanna Rivers from Delgado Community College. These are two of 